It's the Gospel on WOAD 103.5 FM and AM 1300. Of course, Percy with you in the morning time here. And of course, First Lady B's in here. You know, it's Wednesday. She's got to come through and uh, share with us and uh, tell us what's going on in and around the city of Jackson uh, and all over the place. Yes, course. good morning. How you doing this morning? I'm doing well. Good, good. morning to you and uh, all the folks at the creek. Yes. Hey, New Caney Creek. Good morning. <laughs> So, yeah, let's start off. I want to mention this because it, it was breaking news yesterday. Donald Trump's longtime doctor went on the air yesterday and admitted to two things. Number one, remember when he was running for president and he they produced this letter saying he was like probably going to be like the best president and the best health ever. And right, Well, right. we're coming to find out that Donald Trump basically wrote that letter himself. Which we all pretty kind of yeah, figured out anyway, yeah, yeah. but you know, the doctor confirmed it yesterday, and then the doctor said that um, an attorney and Trump's longtime bodyguard basically raided his doctor's office early one morning, took all of Trump's medical records, and even took the picture that he had with Donald Trump off the wall. Wow! Do you hear me? Hmm. Do you hear me? This is interesting. This is our president. I thought it was real interesting that uh, uh, his uh, nominee for, you know, uh, Surgeon General. Mm -hmm. says, nah, I'm going to take, take back that obligation. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I don't think I want to do that. So, I mean, so, yeah, so, the, I, so needless to say, you know, I'm, I'm a firm believer that, you know, when there's patterns... Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, so we're we going to we gonna have to continue to pray for our country. It seems, you know? it seems that, you know, few people are, are beginning to catch a case of common sense. Yeah, amen. <laughs> Finally, amen. Finally. Amen. And then Bill Cosby. I, I, I start to call up here last Thursday morning because it's, it's always seemed to think always things always break after we get off the air. Yeah. And, yeah. and I promise you, I was, you know, I was, you know, I was all, my emotions were all over the place, you know, and well, the thing about it is that you know, uh, if you look objectively, okay, if you did something wrong, then you should pay the price for That's it. That's right. Uh, on the other hand, what's going on with you know, you understand that you got the Me Too factor. That's right. That's uh, active here, and uh, also uh, some scoff at it, uh, some uh, you know, uh, blow it away. But uh, uh, things started getting interesting for his bill from a legal perspective as soon as he floated the idea of buying a major network. That's right. So you have to wonder, um, has some of this played in, you know, we get conspiracy theories out there, and, and apparently, uh, you know, I don't know how deep Bill's pockets were at the time, but apparently he and or some of his friends probably could have afforded to do so. Yeah, yeah. And apparently it may well have scared some people out there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it definitely would have interrupted the status quo. Yeah, amen. So, yeah, so so he'll be um, sentenced. I think, I think the, the judge said on Friday he, he's going to sentence him in, in about 75 days. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I'll, I'll be um, staying tuned to that. And, so, and right now he is, on, he is on house arrest. So I'll be and definitely watching to see what happens. Um, if he, you know, the pundits, the, the legal experts are saying that he'll probably – do 22 months um, because each count carries a 10-year maximum and they said based on, you know, he had, he had no prior records, you know, that he'll probably yeah. do um, 22 months. So I'll definitely be keeping an eye on that. And then um, on s Saturday, Kurt and Tammy Franklin, you know, they're going to be, they're gonna be uh, featured on OWN's Black Doc series mm -hmm. that comes on and it's premiering back again the second season, May the 12th. And they're one of the couples that's featured. And uh, for folks that don't know, Kurt and Tammy been married 22 years. And um, they, they, their marriage has been a pretty open book since he went on Oprah a long time ago. And do you remember when he went on Oprah a long time mm -hmm. ago and talked about his indiscretions? But anyway, so they're, they're featured on this season's um, Black Love Doc went on. And so Saturday they did like a little panel discussion in Dallas um, leading up to the premiere. So um, I want everybody to kind of tune in for that. Um, they're on there, Reverend Ron and his wife um, are on there. They've um, been together. Probably even longer. Probably even longer than Tammy and Kurt. Yeah. yeah. So that. And then Avengers. Did you go see it? I haven't seen it yet. Okay, so 
Pastor Slaughter and I went to go see it. I, I made him take me to the movies Monday night to go see it. Okay. So, I, you know, you already know I'm a Marvel girl. I love Marvel comics. Uh-huh. And let's just say I cried at the end. I know. And <laughs> the, and, and what, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody. Yeah. There are a couple things I have I have done a little research and I found out about yeah. it. And I'll just say, some folks ain't going to make it. So they ain't going to make it. <laughs> no, some <laughs> folks ain't going to make it. Yeah. But... Uh, uh, it, it is it, if what I read really uh, piqued my interest, and I plan on going seeing it if not before the end of the weekend. Yeah. Definitely, definitely this weekend. And I'll say this: um, they, you know, you, you you have to give Marvel, Disney, and Marvel their due their due respect. I mean, they have already become you know the highest grosses uh, Marvel movie of uh, all th- time. This, this actually, uh, this uh, Avengers movie, you know, and of course. It got a bump from, from Black, Panther. Black Panther. That's right. In that uh, you knew you knew it was coming. You know, mm-hmm. a lot of the Black Panther cast was going to be involved in it. Yep. Uh, the uh, a major portion of it takes place in Wakanda. Wakanda. And uh, so it was a perfect setup. Yeah, it really you know, was. Uh, Black Black Panther made barrels of money. Yeah. Yep. And this is doing the same. Doing thing. the exact same thing. You know, yep. this is on pace. I think after the. The first weekend, it already grossed over five hundred. Yeah, well, this morning, this morning, well, no, last night. I'm sorry, it was at, it was at seven hundred and twenty six million last night, and they said by this Friday they should be at a billion dollars. They yeah. projected, so yeah. But like so, you said, Black Panther is you know, the reason there, behind you know. There's, you know, some, there's some folks in, you know in the Marvel camp who really know what they're doing. Yeah, now. oh yeah, that's what I said. I said they're genius now. They're you know, genius now. So you know, uh, they're in, you know, they just doing what they do. Yeah. And then I want to mention uh, Jason Nelson, you know, my favorite song, Forever. He um, just launched his Mother's Day e-card. So for folks that want to send their mom or their loved one an e-card for Mother's Day, he just launched like this Jason Nelson Forever e-card. Well, if you can send him an e-card with, with, with e- Forever, yeah, with okay. the song singing. I want to mention that. They premiered, they, they released the um, Whitney documentary trailer this past weekend as well. Mm-hmm. And Bobby's in it, which that was a surprise um, for me. I didn't think Sissy would let him be in it, but he's in it, of course, Sissy's in it, they show the brothers, you know, it's mm-hmm. very from the, it's like a minute and a half trailer, and from the trailer, you can definitely tell that because they're using family members and people that were truly close to her, right. um, that it's going to be more intimate and more factual. Well, you know? that's what Sissy wanted, and I think that's why she was saying no to a lot of other uh, offers that were mm-hmm. put forth. Yeah. And then two things I want to, other things I want to mention before I close it out. Definitely want to go hometown and uh, mention that Scotty Willis and Reap, um, the live experience they're releasing that on May. I'm probably going to get the date wrong. I think it's May the eleventh. He's releasing that May the eleventh. Scotty mm-hmm. Willis and Reap, Bam Mitchell and Swap. Um, they're having their um, album release concert at the Jackson Revival Center on May the eighteenth, if I'm not mistaken. And then I want to um, congratulate Levante. He had a, that fashion show I was telling you about, the right. the church meets fashion. Um, and it, I heard it was a, a big, a huge success. So I want to definitely um, give a shout-out to some of um, Jackson, Mississippi's own who are doing great things um, for the kingdom of God. Um, so I mentioned that. Then I want to close on my husband, Pastor Ernest E. Slaughter, and, and ask everyone listening to go and patronize his car wash, Prime Time Car Wash at 270 Maddox Road. And follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter at First Lady B, or log on to my blog, firstladyb.com. Okay, now, and uh, while we uh, throwing out a couple of things here, I want to want to remind everybody, the Thank God I'm Free event is coming up uh, this Saturday, uh, starting at 4 p.m. It's from 4 to 7 at uh, Divine Ministries, and that's 1417 West Capitol Street. I will be there, and of course, by now you may have heard that uh, our uh, the Nighthawk Productions talent uh, search is coming up. Uh, that's going to be, of course, on Saturday, June 30th at the Church Triumphant. This year, we're blessed to give away uh, $1,000 in cash prizes uh, for the uh, top three uh, finishers in the uh, show, showcase talent search, and uh, also a uh, couple other goodies, you know, we, as in past times, we've uh, been able to uh, arrange for uh, a up-and-comer artist who yeah. has a CD who wins the event, uh, such as last year, Lady T. Yep, Lady uh, her, T. Uh, her CD was promoted for three months by one of our promotion people, national promotion person. Well, we got that same thing in effect this year. Also, the winner, first place winner, will perform on the 
uh, the Mississippi Gospel Music Awards uh, coming up in the month of July, July 29th, I think that is, yeah. last Sunday in July. Yeah. Uh, also, in the event the person does not have a uh, CD single mm -hmm. or, or demo single, whatever, uh, we've partnered with uh, my friend Leonard Williams, who's oh, going wow. to produce a CD nice. single for the uh, winner in the event they don't have one. So, oh, that's awesome. So those are some of the, the uh, prizes we're going to be giving away. We'll have, uh, of course, our, 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 our trophies and everything as well. And again, that all takes place on June 30th. And I'm going to be at the uh, Thank God I'm Free event, and I'll have registration forms, and I'll be able to give folks more details on that. Again, that's happening this coming Saturday, uh, starting at 4 p.m., at uh, Divine Ministries on West Capitol Street. So, y'all come. Cool beans. All right. And uh, so. We yeah. And um, yeah, I, th I, th I want to make sure that, th that, that that's everything that I wanted to mention. I got Bam Mitchell and Swap. I got Scotty Willis and Reaper and Levante. And, you know, um, just like I said, um, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at First Lady B or log on to my blog, FirstLadyB.com. Alrighty then, and we got more great inspiration on the way. Kirk Franklin, the family, the storm is over on WOAD.